Hi, in this video today, I would like to show you how to set the basic authentication in IIS for an ASP.NET Core MVC website. Okay, when you are hosting any website in the IIS server and you want to just limit some of the people who has the authentication in order to access the website in the IIS it will support the basic authentication mode to enable the limitation. If you want to access the website show, you have to enter the username and password first. And then, in this video today, I will guide you step by step on how to do the configuration to enable this basic authentication in the IIS for your website, ASP.NET Core MVC. Okay. Let's get started. And assuming this is the website, I want to set the basic authentication. And you see here, it is very simple. The basic template of the ASP.NET Core MVC. Yeah. For now, if I pass this URL for everyone, so they can access it. But for now, I want to limit this one for some specific person who has the username and password in order to access the website so here let me open the internet information services manager on my window pc i'm using the window 10 and for the window server it uh, would be similar you select the website you want to setting the basic authentication so in the main content we have the iis session you see here we have the authentication option in order to see this option in the IIS Manager show, you have to make sure you already enable this feature when you install the IIS on your Windows PC. Yeah, I will guide you quickly how to enable it if it's still not enabled on your Windows PC. You click on Start button, Control Panel, and then click on Programs. In the Programs and Features, you click on Turn Window Features on or off. It will open the window features and here we have the internet information services option. You click on the play button to open the detail and you see here I already enable everything inside the internet information services folder. FTTP server, web management tool, World Wide Web services and here you take a look into the security folder you have to make sure you already enable the basic authentication yeah and then you click on ok button to perform the iteration for the service on the window pc i'm assuming you already installed this on the pc and i will come back to the iis manager i select the authentication double click on it to open the other window so here by default, you see we have optionally anonymous authentication e enable. If I disable this one and then come back to the browser, refresh this one, here, yeah. you see you cannot see the content of the website anymore. And I will enable the basic authentication. In order to get the asset for basic authentication, you need to create an account okay here so you open the folder and then right click on the zip pc in the contact menu on the left hand side you select the menu option it will open up the computer management window and here you select the local users and group we select the users folder and then Right click on this one, select the news user. I will enter username in that. And then you can provide some other information like full name, description, password. Yeah, password should be enter. And user must change password at next logon. I will disable this one because I just want to keep the default password when I create a new account. Create, click on the close button. And you see here, the dev account has been created. 
minimize this one and then come back to the website browser refresh this one here you see here for now when anyone access into this website it will display a window here pop up to ask you to enter the username and password in order to access the website I enter the account password had the credits in some minutes ago click on sign in button here and then you can see the content of the website okay let me copy this URL and open it in another instance of the browser here if I enter the password and username is incorrect yeah it cannot display the content click on cancel button click on cancel button means I don't have the password to access the website that means I will see the error message is unauthorized yeah you don't have the permission to access the content of the website okay you can back to the IIS and in case if you want to disable basic authentication and then you can enable the anonymous authentication back go to the website just refresh this one and you can access the website okay disable enable back to the website copy this in other instance yeah enter yeah okay so i think that's all for today after you finish this video you know how to create a new account and then grant the permission for that account in order to access the website content by using the basic authentication mode of the iis i hope this video will have fun let me know if you have any issue thank you for watching bye bye see you guys in the next video